What up, dude? Oh, it's you. Forgot you were staying here too. Yeah. What was that? It's gone now, anyway. Maybe it was just my imagination. So what's up? I couldn't give a damn whether you joined the Alliance or not, to be honest. Oh, I didn't come here for any specific reason. Interesting. You mixed by any chance? Could I sit and talk to you for a while? <sighs> what a pain in the ass. So, what do you want to ask? When we ran into each other back near Berea Heart, you asked a weird question. Something about being mixed? Oh, that? I didn't have the chance to figure out what that meant at the time. But what did you mean? Don't know if I can even explain that one. It's just something you feel. What we've got mixed into us is obviously different in strength and nature. It's kind of hard to put into words. <sighs> yeah, seems that way. I know you're not trying to confuse me on purpose, but I really can't wrap my head around what you're saying. Just watch. Huh? Oh. There's no trick to it. I'm not using an ornament, it's not magic. And I'm not using an artifact either. I just will fire to appear, and it does. So it's just a totally unnatural ability? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Something that just gives you results, without the processes you'd usually have to go through to obtain them. You've got one too, right? Well... True. That power of mine wasn't something I gained from training. I don't even know where the power itself is coming from. It's the same kind of thing. People who can do things like that usually have something mixed into them. Something foreign, unnatural, mixed into their body itself, different to the church's stigmas. I'm surprised you even mentioned that. Because that, that's like a... That would be the common thing to go to, the stigmas? Interesting. Looks like a pretty small part of it in your case, though. Oh... There, huh? Anyway, I couldn't tell you how, where, or why whatever it is got mixed into you. Sure you've got more questions, but sorry. I can't answer them. No, it's okay. You've answered enough already. I feel like I understand myself a little better now, actually. <laughs> Good for you, I guess. So, we done now? Yeah, thanks for your time. Oh yeah, so how much of you is unnatural? Me? All of me. I live for that one moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only part that makes that seem the best thing ever. His circumstances seem very different from mine. Guess all I can do is remember what he said. Maybe there will come a time when it'll all make sense. I'm sure one day I'll find out what this power of mine is. What the story behind me being given this power as a kid is. Yeah, I give it a couple years, probably. One day. Fucking love that scene. I just love McBurn in general. McBurn's one of my favorite characters. Just fucking... What a cool dude. He's just like, he's just sick. He's so fucking awesome. I love my burn. <laughs> and I like that he has a similarity to, uh, to Reen. Like, they share something. And considering, like, how strong he is, and he's, like, Ouroboros' strongest fighter, male fighter, 
Yeah, it's interesting. Hello? So we do need to go and actually talk to the person that Crow wants to, wanted us to talk to. That was like an hour ago. We've just been talking to like every single person on the ship. So I know there isn't a lot going on in this recording session. We're just talking to people. But this is still one of the best parts of the game just because of who we're talking to. So anyway, we need to head up to the second floor and go talk to a certain someone that Crow wanted us to talk to. So let's go do that, because we've talked to sing every single person down here, so we're good to go hang out. You can talk to the doors to like get some more information. Not a lot of information, it's just like what Reen thinks about said person. But I don't think you ever like really get to sit, uh, sit down and talk with McBurn. Ever, so that's like a really cool moment right there for me at least I think it's really cool you don't learn a whole lot though it's like it's like he's giving you like a little snippet but you don't really learn anything but I still I still like it <laughs> again who knows what Sen 3 and Sen 4 are gonna hold I have no idea what's in those games but hey we're getting something here it's not a lot but we're getting something this should be the guest of honor's room. Time to see who's inside. Yes? Who is it? Please come in. That sounds like... Excuse me. Is that... Is that... Uh, I know who it is. I'm just... I'm just... I don't want to spoil it, <laughs> even though it's obvious. Hey, it's Princess Alfin. <gasps> I had a feeling it was you, but I didn't dare to hope. <gasps> it's you! It's really, really you! Your Highness. <laughs> it's really me. I'm so glad you're safe. I'm so sorry that you had to go through all of this. If I hadn't been so weak and careless, none of this would have happened. You mustn't apologize. Simply being able to see you again is more than I could have hoped for. <gasps> you must have been really lonely. I'm here for you now, though. I might not be the most reliable person for the job. But I'm not going anywhere. So that's what you've been doing all this time? Yeah. I was happy all of us were able to get back together again. But then yesterday, I ended up being invited onto this ship by Duke Cayenne. That's why I'm here, talking to you. I do recall thinking things were a little noisier than usual yesterday. Now I know why. <laughs> Strange as it may sound, I suppose I owe the Duke my thanks. After all, if not for his invitation, we wouldn't have been able to find each other like this. Sorry. I wish I could say I'd snuck on board to rescue you or something. Incidentally, I hesitate to ask, but... You want to know where Elise is, right? She's not on this ship, I'm afraid. I can't say for sure, but I believe she's been taken to the same place as my parents. Really? I'm sure it isn't news to you that my mother, father, and Cedric have been imprisoned somewhere. 
and apparently, they've chosen Elise to be my family's attendant. So it's likely wherever they've been taken, she's right there with them. Really? I'm not sure whether to feel relieved or what. <laughs> I can hardly blame you. I feel exactly the same way, even. But why were you alone imprisoned on this airship? Surely there must be some reason. That was Duke Cayenne's decision. I believe he's using me to suppress potential rebellion in areas occupied by the Alliance. By having me address the people and calm them down. Forgive me for saying so, but that's a little messed up. Using you like that. Wow, Duke Cayenne doing something that's messed up? Crazy, Rain. Insane, even. I don't especially mind doing it, honestly. It's a simple enough task. People all across Erebonia are uneasy about this war. And as princess, I should do what's within my power to help calm their nerves. But at the expense of your own feelings? I know you want to help, but you can't be happy about being used as the Alliance's puppet to deceive them. Plus, you've been forcibly separated from your family, your best friend. You don't even know where they are. Yes, but... Oh, why even bother? You see through everything, don't you, Reen? Anyway, putting my feelings aside, uh, what do you plan to do now? I presume you don't intend to actually do whatever Duke Cayenne tells you to. Well... I'm really not sure what to do. The longer this war goes on, the more people will suffer because of it. But even so, I don't feel as though siding with the Noble Alliance is the right course of action. And the same goes for the Imperial Army. I can't in good conscience side with them either. I see. There's so much to think about. You're being used as a puppet against your will? And then Elise is imprisoned somewhere too, being forced to do who knows what. I have to act somehow to change things. That wasn't your fault, Reen. Ever since I was taken in by my family all those years ago, I've tried to be a brother figure to her. I became the person I am today because of them. They've always loved me like they would a real son, and she's always treated me like a real older brother. You saw that power of mine, didn't you? And what I look like when I use it? Well, um... Yes, I did. Back when I was a kid, something just like that happened. I ended up using it right there in front of her. She should have been terrified of me. But if she was, she never once let it show. She treated me exactly the same as before. And that was when I swore, deep within my heart, no matter what happened, no matter what I had to do, I would always protect her. And that's why I can't help but wonder. I can't help but wonder if now's the time to live up to that promise, if I should put her before everything else. Even if I have to ignore or outright betray my own personal beliefs in the process. Reen. <sighs> your honorary little sister i order you to get a hold of yourself what sorry alfin uh what what <laughs> yeah that's my response what it, your highness i know elise far better than you think i do in fact i'd even go as far as to say i know her better than you reen She's already told me so much about what happened eight years ago. She told me about how that snowy day was what inspired you to take up the sword. She told me how traumatic that moment was for you. How what happened stays with you even now. And she even told me that, while she hated how she felt, she felt the tiniest bit happy because of it. Because it meant that your attention your guilt and your sense of responsibility were directed towards her and no one else. And she knew more than anyone how selfish that was. <sighs> 
She may have had other reasons for choosing to go to Saint Astraya, but her main reason was that she didn't want you to keep feeling guilty because of her. More than anything else, she wanted to free you of your burdens. <sighs> you should know, when you joined Thor's and were making new friends, and you finally seemed to be moving forward, she felt a little jealous, and even a little lonely at being left behind. But she was so very, very happy for you too. So please, Reen, please don't use Elise to justify not choosing your place in this war. Because I know for a fact, she wants you, of all people, to carve your own path and find true happiness. I... How could I have been so blind? All this time I thought I was trying to protect her, and it's been the other way around since the start. And that's not just true for her either. Mom, Dad, Master Kafai, all my friends at Thor's, they've been supporting me this whole time. How could I have missed something so obvious? I think I finally understand what I've been lacking inside of me all this time. I was so focused on trying to protect others, I never stopped to think about how relationships go both ways. Others try to support me just like I try to support them, and I have as much of an effect on them as they do on me. How did I not realize before now? I'm sorry, Master. I think you gave me that intermediate scroll a bit too soon. Better to realize late than never, I suppose. Because now I finally feel like I'm ready. As long as I keep that fact in mind, I won't lose control again. Spirit Unification. So yeah, having this conversation with, uh... With Alpha and kind of helps out. Are you all right? It just makes us like get this cool crystal, and we're like, "Yeah, I can. I won't lose control this time. It's gonna be rad." <laughs> I'm fine. And I've got you to thank for that. Forget honorary. You sounded just like my real sister for a minute. So, thank you. Though I think that's a large part of the point of the first act of this entire game, is Reen learning. That relationships are two ways, and like he needs to realize that people are supporting him as much as he wants to support them. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much how this first act really is. We saw some of that in the beginning of the of the game, really, with Elise. And honestly, that was a big part of what Elise was trying to tell him. Like, hey, everyone loves you. Everyone is out here trying to support you. You don't need to run away from them or, like, try to not be with them because you are you think you're hurting them or something like that. No, they, they want to be there with you. They want to support you. So he just had to learn that. <sighs> because Reen is such a self-deprecating piece of shit. <laughs> I love Reen. I think Reen's a great main character. But man, he's, he's such a self-deprecating uh, baby. <laughs> he, he's very, he's very self-deprecating. I think it's time we get going. I wouldn't want to keep my classmates waiting any longer than I already have. A pity, but you're right. <laughs> I was rather hoping we could stay like this a little while longer. But I suppose all good things have to come to an end. Take care of yourself, Reen. I'll leave Elisa's rescue to you. No matter what it takes, please... Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> I said it's time we get going, didn't I? There's no way I'm leaving my sister's best friend imprisoned in a place like this. 
I will get the two of us off this ship. So stay close to me. <gasps> I don't know how well this is going to go. <laughs> Alright, so Princess Alfin joins the party. I hope you guys are ready for dumb bullshit. So, do you have an escape plan? Valimar, the, the Ashen Knight, is on the deck. He's chained up there, but if we can get to him, I'm sure we can find some way to use him to get away from here. First, though... We need to find a way to get out of this part of the ship without anyone noticing. All right, then. <laughs> I never imagined I'd be running away from here with you at my side. Elise is going to be so envious. You never get old, do you, Alfin? <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Oh, Alfin. I really like Alfin. I, like, the thing is, when I first saw her, like, for the very first time, I was like, ugh. But I think, like, CS2 especially, I started to really, really like Alfin. I think she's so much fun. So, hey, Alfin joins the party. She's actually going to be playable, surprisingly enough. Um, she does have her own um, Arcus, and she also has a bunch of Quartz and a Master Quartz, which is pretty cool. Um, she does a lot of healing, and she has Seraphic Ring, which is insanely good. Um, she also has Shining, which is good for Insight. But, beyond that, she doesn't have any crafts. And I forgot how she even does attacks. I don't think she does. Is this an escort mission? I kind of forgot if it is or not. But, we're gonna find out. So, Alfin has joined the party! <laughs> Luckily enough, I know exactly where we need to go, I think. Uh, we did see a, um... There are a lot of very strong people here, so try to keep your voice down. <laughs> Not to worry. We did see a vent in one of the rooms uh, downstairs. I don't know if we can just walk down there, honestly. Uh, but hey, let's try. Let's just try walking down there. I'm sure no one will care that much. Hello. Hello. Oh, Alfin. No. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. God damn it, Elfin. Alright, so, um, it's on the map, actually, of where to go. As is everything, really. But, uh, we already saw it once. There's a vent over here. We can totally just be like, hey, let's go in there. Thought so. It's a vent. Well, that's convenient. Might it lead to somewhere else on the ship, you think? Most likely. Still, I can't very well ask a princess to crawl through a vent. Nonsense, Reen. Of course you can. I'm ready to begin our great escape. But it's going to be all dark inside. And probably filthy, too. A little bit of darkness and dirt never hurt anyone. I had to travel through some fairly narrow underground passages when escaping from Heimdall, too. All right? How about I go first? I'm smaller than you, after all. No. Absolutely no. not. Definitely not. No. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, as long as you're all right with it, but I'll be going first. Like I said before, just stay close to me. Hmm. All right, then. <sighs> You'd think a princess would be more mindful when she's wearing a dress. Like, fuck no. Let's not even play this game. No. <laughs> nice place. I'm surprised. It's not dirty at all in here. Yeah, Alfin. <gasps> Maybe it's because the ship's newly built? Where is she? Where's Alfin? Wait. Where am I? All right. Surprisingly, I've never made that joke. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I have turbo mode. Yeah! Oh, there's a corner! We must be past the guest area then. Yeah! <laughs> this is so dumb. <sighs> Looks like we're in the clear for that part of the ship, at least. My, that was intense. It's like I've stepped right into the world of one of those spy novels that are so popular these days. <laughs> anyway, here's hoping we can make it to the deck without getting caught. What is it? Soldiers are coming this way. Keep a safe distance and let me handle this. <gasps> <sighs> it feels like the closest thing we have to someone ordinary around here is that kid. It's pretty nerve-wracking having to be around them all. I just wish I could get to see Princess Alfin in person. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, is that a kid with a sword? Oh. Huh? Too late. <laughs> oh, shit, Reed. You're just Stop jumping face-first in that guy's chest. Here I go. Jesus. Okay, we're fighting dudes. Hey. She's just like... <laughs> too late. <laughs> Alright, so we got some provincial army soldiers. There. Let's do some bullshit. Like delay. Alright, so as you can see, uh, she can't attack because she doesn't have any weapons. All she can really do is arts. So... Let's just do airstrike, because we can't really hit any of them twice. Or we can't hit them at the same time, unfortunately. My turn. There. Now's our chance. Nice. Yeah, so you, you are linked up with Alfin immediately. And her follow-up attacks are just wind attacks, which is pretty cool. I think that's interesting. Um, I could do Shining if I so please, but for guys like this, it doesn't really matter that much. So let's just, uh, just have her do that guy. Not a big deal. As for you, though, I'm just going to do this again just to cut that off. Oh! That wasn't very nice. Oh my god! Sorry, wow! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I just died to these fucking nobodies. Alright, that was interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Jesus Christ. It's okay, we get another chance, but like, fuck, really? Let's do this! Understood. That was- they fucking destroyed me. Nice. Really? My turn. Alright. I think I'll have her use Shining. I don't think they're going to hit Alfin. I think they're just going to go after me. So, I'm gonna use Shining on... Green, so we can get some insight. Let's move. We should be fine this time. Hopefully. Nope. Okay, that's getting annoying. There we go. Those guys are really easy. I don't know. I guess I just, you know, felt like eating shit today, so I gave them a little chance to fucking kill me. No, <laughs> they're strong. I didn't think it was just gonna game over as a thing. I thought Alfin was still gonna have a turn. I was just gonna like Seraphic ring him back up, but no, the game is just like, mm -mm, you're over. You all right, your highness? Yes, I'm fine. 
Thanks to you, of course. Let's be going. I'll be sure to stay very close to you. Good. All right, here we go. All right, so with those guys gone, we can actually keep moving. Uh, I wanna, I wanna heal. Actually, I didn't really need to heal. I didn't really take that much damage. But as for where we're going next, um, I guess we're just going out that way. Wow, there, this place is a lot bigger than I remember it being. Sick. What's back over here? Oh, okay. This place is a lot bigger than I remember it. So, I guess we're gonna see how that goes. Hello. Archaisms. Hooray. Alright, let's see what we can do. Uh, probably just kill. Now's our chance. You're finished. Damn, fucking god. Uh, let's move. Now's our chance. Yeah, not having anyone else in the party kind of blows. My hero. Thank you, your highness. But Alfin's nice. Alfin's a sweetheart. I'm not complaining. Are they... mechanical monsters? They're called Archaisms. Oh, is that it? That's the only explanation we're getting for that? They're called Archaisms. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Reen. <laughs> Alright. So, we are gonna stop and get some treasure chests. I forgot there were even treasure chests on this place. I forgot there was even this long of a hallway for this place, honestly. Because I thought... I, I only remember one other thing other than the conversations. I don't suppose escaping through the windows would be an option. Alfin? Probably not. We'll have to do this the long way. Alfin, do you really think that's gonna work? Ooh, a chest. What could be inside? There's an orange cape. Alfin, do you really think you can just jump out of that, uh... Of that window and be totally cool. I don't know. It's not really looking that great to me. Alright. I'm not gonna dawdle too much. I know I'm opening fucking boxes. They could have you materials, okay? Can we? No, okay. You can't, like, attack on the field as Alfin, unfortunately. So it's just a read. Alright. Delay, boys. There. Gladly. And then as for you, my little princess, uh, we can do... Uh, none of these are that great, so let's do this. Uh. Dead. Let's move. At least she has arts, right? It's not yeah. like... It's not... A, it's not an escort mission. I mean, you die and you lose, as you saw. But she does shit. She can actually fight, and she does a reasonable amount of damage. They could have just made an escort mission. Thanks, Alfin. They could have made it an escort mission because we've had plenty of those in the series with NPCs. There have been plenty of fights where, like, NPCs join the fight. They don't fight, they just kind of walk around on the field. And if they die, you game over and stuff like that. But in this game, Alfin is just like, she has an Arcus and she can fight. That's pretty cool. There they are! Recover the princess! Whew. Two soldiers, one military monster. Shouldn't be a problem. Stay back, please. Right. Good luck, Green. Let's move. All right, not a big deal here. Just not one of these guys. Uh, as for what I want to do, though, um, hmm, could try delaying again. I don't think I can get them all, though. Yeah. Uh, since I can't get them all, I might as well go. Fuck it. Understood. 
That's pretty good. He's gonna heal. Are they both gonna heal? Because that would be a dick move if you both healed. Don't both heal. You fuckers. Oh, wait, did he just heal himself? Oh, okay. That's not bad. Wow, that guy was willing to heal his friend. And he didn't even bother to heal his, like... What? This guy went out on a limb for this man. And this man it totally ignored his friend and healed himself. Some friendship. That's despicable. Absolutely despicable. That that guy was willing to like like Let's move. to fight for you, to heal you. You know, he spent a turn for you. And you're telling me you're not willing to fucking do the same for him? That's fucking are you serious? How dare Second you? Four. I mean, I don't care. I'm going to kill you both, but like how dare you? Damn. Got me with shiny. Ooh, it hurt. It hurt. It hurt. Alfin, please. Alfin, save me. <laughs> um, I need to actually get rid of that. That. That shit. Because that's bad. Thanks. Luckily, I think they're close enough now for this. There. Oh, Let's move. My turn. Let's get rid of this guy. I don't want that, that guy to be healed, so... Oh, so seriously! Wow, why am I having such a bad time with this? Let's take him out. Let's move. This isn't that hard or anything. I'm just like... I'm, get, I'm having bad luck with the insight, unfortunately. And... I'm just blowing. I'm just blowing. Burn to ash! Wow, that only did one guy, really? That sucks. Oh, fuck, really? Okay, let's start going this, going a little faster on this. I shouldn't even need to show this fight, but now I'm going to because I've talked too much during it. But this is just a repeat of other fights we've done already. Oh, fuck, why'd I... I couldn't stop him anyway. My turn. Miss, thank you. I was like, please miss. I didn't even have insight. I'm gonna throw it on though. Here I go. There. Man, after like I talk so much shit on this system and how abusable it is and all that junk. I mean, to be fair, I'm alone right now Let's move. but like i'm having i'm having a real hard time even though i'm like man i got this figured out i'm the best so yeah i won i can't believe i died in that match thank you your highness like i'm super surprised i actually died in there but hey i've been leveled up i'm shocked how skilled you are with arts you are? <laughs> You're so sweet. Ha! All right, so next up is over here. I'm going to start cutting out the rest of the fights because I'm sure it's the same guards and guard dogs and archaisms. So don't worry, no more fights are being shown. I know I've showed way too much of the fights already. I didn't need to show off that last fight, but I was already talking. It was going, and for some reason I keep not speeding up fights. Turn around, little buddy. Turn around, little buddy. Little buddy. There we go. All right, got rid of those guys. Um, I might as well fight the enemies, though, because they do give a pretty good amount of experience. So if I can get a read to, like, 75, that'd be cool. If not, it's not a big deal. But I might. 
Little body. Alright, got rid of those guys. No level up, unfortunately. But I think we're pretty much here. Oh, look! A staircase! Hopefully this will lead to the deck. If it's the time for the thing that I think it is, I hope you're ready for some anime bullshit. <laughs> it's it's dumb fun. Alright, I'm gonna save just in case though. Oh, whoops. Whoopsies. 